Hello Team LCPS, this is Doug Straley, your proud superintendent. Exciting times are here as we near the start of the 2021 school year. I'm reaching out to you today to go over an important update for the upcoming school year and to talk to you about a few events we have coming up in the next few days as well. I ask that you please watch this video in its entirety. As we get into these details, it's important that I start off by saying thank you. Thank you for your support throughout the summer. It's hard to believe, but the first day of school is Thursday, August 13th. It's coming up quick, and a big reason we've made it this far in this process is because of your support. Thank you so much for working with us. It truly means a lot. Since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, I have told you that safety is the top priority at Louisa County Public Schools. That means the safety of our students, the safety of our families, and the safety of our staff. Since this past March, we have and continue to receive guidance from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, the Virginia Department of Health, and the Thomas Jefferson Health District. These are the experts, and we have been committed to trusting their expertise throughout this entire planning process. And we're going to continue to do so as we work to provide the safest plan possible and are able to open our school buildings to our students. In saying that, it's important for you to know that yesterday morning, we received new guidance from the Thomas Jefferson Health District concerning the wearing of face coverings at school. In the latest information given to school divisions throughout our region yesterday, the Thomas Jefferson Health District stated its support of requiring all students of all ages, teachers and staff to use masks at all times. In an email, Dr. Denise Bonds, director of the Thomas Jefferson Health District said, the latest guidance from the Virginia Department of Health and CDC includes the routine wearing of cloth face coverings while indoors and around other individuals. Masks combined with six foot social distancing will increase the safety of your students, faculty and staff. I strongly urge your district to make this change and require them at all times. Again, that's the guidance we received yesterday directly from the Thomas Jefferson Health District. As I mentioned, they are the experts and we trust their judgment. We also understand that it's tough for students and staff to wear masks all day without a few breaks. So here's what we're going to do. At our school buildings, students and staff will be expected to wear coverings throughout the school day. However, it is important to note that students will not need to wear face coverings when eating breakfast or lunch, during snack time, or when they are outside for recess or outside for other activities and are maintaining six feet of social distancing. And for our preschoolers and kindergartners, they will not have to wear masks during nap time. Again, it is important to note that we are realistic and understand it may be tough for many to wear a face covering all day without breaks. With this in mind, classes will have regularly scheduled breaks throughout the school day for students to have breaks from wearing their face coverings. Safety is our top priority and we want to make sure we are following the guidance from the Virginia Department of Health and the Thomas Jefferson Health District to keep everyone as safe as possible but also make sure our students can also be as comfortable as possible to learn and grow academically while also following health guidelines from the medical professionals. So again, there will be regular breaks throughout the day for all students where they can safely take off their face coverings. Our teachers and staff will explain this process in depth to our students students on the first day of class. Continuing to make student and staff safety a priority through all of this is our number one goal. This will mean we adjust as guidance for medical professionals come our way. What will not change is that our staff members are prepared to make every school day an exciting and enjoyable one for all of our students. This update will not stop our enthusiasm for learning. To our students that may be listening, our teachers have been so excited to see you during open house. We're in this thing together and we're going to make it work. Okay, now I want to go over a couple more things before we go. The first topic is health screenings. And I've discussed this with you before, but families, we really need to partner together with each other to make sure that students don't come to school if they are sick. We recently mailed out a health screening infographic that will help you know when your child should stay home from school. We've posted this flyer on our school division website as well, and I'm also including a link to it below this video. Please remember that you should assess your child's health every morning. If they have a fever, they shouldn't come to school. Also remember, 
we're doing temperature checks at the entrances of all of our school buildings as well. That goes for our students and staff. This process will be quick, discreet, and easy. So by working together, we can prevent any student and staff member that are sick from entering our buildings. The next topic is deep cleanings. And first off, I want to commend our school custodians and our maintenance team. Our school buildings right now are extremely, extremely clean. They've done a fantastic job. And once the school year begins, we will be conducting deep cleanings every school night. That means every room, every night will be sprayed, wiped down, and disinfected. This is a big commitment, but thanks to our support of our school board and our board of supervisors, we've been able to hire additional members to our staff who are focused 100% on the cleaning of our buildings and classrooms. So if you see one of these board members, please take a moment to thank them for supporting the safety of all of our students and staff. Also, over the past month, we've had some students switch from virtual to blended or vice versa. Our school staff have made every effort to accommodate those changes. We will continue to work to accommodate requests, but as we get closer to the start, please note that any request to switch from one learning model to another after Monday, August 10th could cause a delay in the start of classes for the student. Again, any student schedule request as a change after August 10th could cause a delay in the start of classes for the student. Team LCPS, this has been a summer with a lot of twists and turns, and you've had a lot of information thrown at you. Trust me, we feel the same way. But I can tell you this, our staff is so excited for the beginning of the school year. Seeing you all at Open House this week has been great, and we can't wait to get back into a routine and bring learning to life. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video, Team LCPS. And at the end of the day, it is so important that we are all able to say we're doing everything we can to keep our students safe, our families safe, and our staff safe. I'm so proud of this team for all the hard work that has been put in. If you have any questions, please feel free to submit them in our questions form below this video. And we'll reach out to you directly to answer your question the best we can. I've tried to communicate details with you as quickly as possible this entire summer. And please know that we are here to support you and make this an awesome experience. Have a great day everyone and thanks for watching. We are Team LCPS.